Okay, class, today we're in section 9.6, solve quadratic equations by the quadratic formula. Solve quadratic equations by the quadratic formula. Before, you solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Now you will solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Key vocabulary, quadratic formula. By completing the square for the quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, you can develop a formula that gives the solutions of any quadratic equation in standard form. This formula is called the quadratic formula. Okay, make sure you read the, con the key concept and get it in your notes if needed. The quadratic formula. The solutions of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero are x is equal to a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where a cannot be 0, and b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, a cannot be 0 because if a was 0, that means you would have 2 times 0, and you would be dividing by 0, and division by 0 is undefined. Here, b squared minus 4ac, also known as the discriminant, it must be greater than or equal to 0. And the reason why is because you cannot do the square root of a, neg of a negative number. Okay, example 1, standardized test practice. What are the solutions of 3x squared plus 5x is equal to 8? a, negative 1, and a negative 8 over 3, b, negative 1 and a positive 8 over 3, c, 1 and a negative 8 over 3, and d, 1 and 8 over 3. Solution. Write the original equation. After writing the original equation, then write in standard form. To do that, we must move our 8 to the other side. So the positive 8 becomes a negative 8. Everybody knows by now, a negative 8 underneath, and a negative 8 over here. So that goes to 0, and you end up with 3x squared plus 5x minus 8 is equal to 0. Next, you write down the, quadrat the uh, quadratic formula, and that's going to be x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. You must commit this formula to memory. You must commit this formula to memory. It will not be given to you on the EOC x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Next, we substitute values in the quadratic formula. a is equal to 3, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to a negative 8. All right, once again, um, right here is my b value. b is 5, so I put down the b, and that negative sign comes down plus or minus the square root of b, once again, b squared, b is 5, so that's 5 squared, minus 4, that's in the formula, times a, my a value was 3, times a negative 8, my c value is a negative 8. Next, I do my math up under the radical first, up under the radical first. So, I'm going to get a negative times a negative, that's going to be a positive, so I get that out of the way first. A negative times a negative is going to be a positive. Then I multiply 4 times 3 times 8. 4 times 3 times 8. All right, now, so 4 times 3 times 8, I will end up with 96. Got over here for those of us who may be confused. Negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times 3 times 8 is 96. 5 to the second power is 25. So now I have 25 plus 96. That comes out to be 121. So now I have x is equal to a negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 121 divided by 2 times 3 which is 6. Now I have a negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 121 is 11. So plus or minus 11 over 6. 
So the solutions of the equation are negative 5 plus 11 divided by 6, which is equal to 1, and then a negative 5 minus 11 over 6 is equal to a negative 8 over 3. So once again, negative 5 plus 11 divided by 6, negative 5 minus 11 divided by 6. So the correct answer is going to be C. Now one of the key things when you're doing a quadratic equation is never divide first. Save that division step for your last step. If not, your answer will be wrong. So always divide at the end, at the very end. Right, the other common error is here with the negative signs. Got to watch out for the negative signs on the numbers and make sure you get the right combination. If the if you got a negative here, a negative there, and a negative there, then the whole thing for this part is going to be negative. If you got two negatives, it's going to be positive. If you got one negative, it's going to be negative, so be careful. And the other mistake is when you plug it in here in the B. This is the most one of the most common errors also. All right. Uh, here the B was a positive five, so that means you would end up with a negative five. If the B were negative, you would end up with a positive 5 because a negative is already in the formula. So a negative times a negative would give you a positive. Just a couple of things to watch out for. Example 2, solve a quadratic equation. They give us 2x squared minus 7 is equal to x. Write the original equation. Now we got to write it in standard form. That means that x has to go over to the other side. It's a positive x, so it means we got to say a minus x here and a minus x there. We're going to end up with 2x squared minus x minus 7 is equal to 0. Next, we follow the same procedure as we did in example 1. We're going to write the quadratic formula. Once again, commit it to memory. x is equal to a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay, now we're going to substitute. We've got to be real careful. All right, uh, the b value it's going to end up being a negative 1. So the negative in the equation, I'll bring that down. The b is negative 1, so I'll write that down. Plus or minus the square root. We said that b was a negative 1, so now we get negative 1 squared minus, that's in the formula, 4, that's in the formula. The a value is 2, so that's 2. And the c value is a negative 7. All that's over 2 times a. And the A value, once again, is 2. All right, then we go in here and we simplify. Got to be real careful. Got to simplify right here. First of all, a negative times a negative is a positive, so it ends up being a positive 1. So I got 1 plus or minus the square root of 57 over 4. Now go through and do the math and make sure you come out with 57. Don't forget, a negative times a negative is a positive. So you're going to end up with 4 times 2, which is 8, and 8 times 2, excuse me, 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 times 7 will be 56. And then 56 plus 1 ends up being 57. So now we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 57 divided by 4. Once again, the solutions are 1 plus the square root of 57 over 4, and that's congruent to about 2.14. And then we also have 1 minus the square root of 57 over 4, and that's congruent to about a negative 1.64. Don't forget, square root can be computed using your calculator. Okay, example 3. Use the quadratic formula. Film production. For the period 1971 through 2001, the number of y, the number of y of films produced in the world can be modeled by the function y is equal to 10x squared minus 94x plus 3,900, where x is the number of years since 1971. In what year were 4,200 films produced? Solution. Write the function. The function was given to us, so we just write it. Next step. Substitute 4,000. 200 for y. So in place of y, we're going to put down 4,200. Next step, write in standard form. To write in the standard form, the 4,200 must be moved to the other side. So we know we got to subtract that. So we got to say minus 4,200 on this side, 
minus 4,200 on this side. When we do 3,900 minus 4,200 would give us a negative 300. So now we have zero is equal to 10x squared minus 94x minus 300. All right, then we're going to substitute our values in the quadratic uh, formula. And when you're doing so, when doing so, we find that the a is equal to 10, b is equal to a negative 94, and c is equal to a negative 300. So we plug in. Here's our formula once again. Don't forget, negative b, b is a negative 94, plus or minus b once again, negative 94 squared, minus 4 times 10 times a negative 300. All that's over 2 times 10 because the a value was 10. We do our math and we come out with 94 plus or minus the square root of 20,836 over 20. Once again, check your math to be sure that you come out with the same answer that we have right here. Other than that, the solutions of the equations are 94 plus the square root of 20,836 over 20. That's congruent to about 12. And 94 minus the square root of 20,836 over 20. And that's congruent to about a negative 3. Don't forget, use your calculator to compute the square root. There were about 4,200 films produced about 12 years after 1971 or in 1983. All that means is they took the 12 years and added it to 1971. And you know the negative 3 can be ignored. The solution negative 3 can be ignored because negative 3 represents the year 1968, which is not in the given time period. Concept summary. Methods for solving quadratic equations. Method. Factoring. When do you use it? Use when a quadratic equation can be factored easily. Method. Graphing. When do you use it? Use when approximate solutions are adequate. Method. Finding square roots. When to use? Use when solving an equation that can be written in the form x squared is equal to d. Method. Completing the square. When to use it? Can be used for any quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, but is the simplest to apply when a is equal to 1 and b is an even number. Method, quadratic formula. When can you use it? Can be used for any quadratic equation. Can be used for any quadratic equation. Example 4. Choose a solution method. Tell what method you will use to solve the quadratic equation. Explain your choices. A, 10x squared minus 7 is equal to 0. B, x squared plus 4x is equal to 0. C, 5x squared plus 9x minus 4 is equal to 0. Solution, A, the quadratic equation can be solved using square roots because the equation can be written in the form x squared is equal to d. In other words, you move the 7 to that side and then divide by 10. B, the equation can be solved by factoring, because the expression x squared plus 4x can be factored easily. Also, the equation can be solved by completing the square, because the equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1 and b is an even number. C. The quadratic equation cannot be factored easily, and completing the square will result in many fractions. So, the equation can be solved using the quadratic formula.